Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 2022 watch collection video, going over every watch in my collection. I only do this once a year, so it's a bit of a special video. So today I'd recommend you grabbing a drink. It's going to be a nice, long, enjoyable video. I've poured myself a bit of whiskey here, not much, just to sip and enjoy throughout this video. I'm going to put that to one side. If you're wondering what it is, it's just a bit of Johnny Walker, red label, nothing special, but I'd recommend doing the same as well. It's the end of the week after all. Let's enjoy this video together and jump into it. So starting off with watch number one, here is the Omega Seamaster 300M Professional Black Rubber Black Dial Blacked Out. I absolutely love this watch. This was a grail piece for me for a very long time and it's my most expensive watch in the collection. Now it doesn't get an awful lot of wear if I'm honest because it's such a special piece to me that I only really like to wear this when I have something to wear it for. So I don't really wear it too often but it's definitely not my least worn watch and when I do wear it I just absolutely love it. It's something so special to me. Fantastic watch this one. Let's go on to watch number two. I'm just going to take a quick sip here. I advise you doing the same. Not because of the next watch just because we're enjoying ourselves here. So the next watch is the Casio Marlin, an absolutely beautiful watch, even though it has got quite a few scratches on it, I actually love this watch. Now unfortunately it hasn't had anywhere near the amount of wrist time this year as it did last year because I've just gotten so many other watches that I've been enjoying so much more. It doesn't mean this is a bad watch by any means, but I do love that Marlin still, I think it's a fantastic watch overall, great beta watch, it's something that I wear to the pub and yeah I just enjoy it when I do wear it. I have noticed over the year like it's gotten a bit bigger on my wrist. I don't know if that's because my wrist has gotten smaller, but it just feels bigger than it did before. Um, I still love it though, still a great watch. So the next watch is unfortunately the only watch that is not currently in my possession, and that is my own Longines Conquest Silver Dial. I've absolutely loved this watch over the last year, wearing it very frequently for semi-formal occasions and just casual occasions. It's so easy to grab and put on your wrist and just enjoy throughout the evening. Those polished indices make this watch an absolute treat. Fantastic value for money and I'm hoping to receive it back in fantastic reborn conditions with the polished bracelet, polished case and hopefully a new dial as well. Now let's go on to the next watch. So up next is my vintage pocket watch. Now I've never shown this on the channel before because for some reason I didn't really clock into the fact that it was a watch, so I didn't show it last year. It's a beautiful watch, but unfortunately it doesn't work terribly well. As you can see the second hand is not ticking. I have wound this up, but it's not currently working. I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but either way, a really nice timepiece. I was thinking about doing a review on this watch, but I'm not sure I will because I'll probably have to get this repaired and I'm not sure if it's worth the hassle. Let me know what you think down below. So up next is the first brand new watch of the collection. And this is the Buford Cavalli. This is in forest green and I think this is an absolute stunner. This is a retro dive watch and is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that fume dial, the gradient there is phenomenal. I mean, I got that beautiful engraved crown right there. Lovely polishing, it is scratched up a little bit. I have used this watch after all. That SW200 on full display there. A beautifully decorated, but simply decorated movement. And uh, yeah, it's, just, it's been performing really well. The bracelet on this is really nice, but I've traded it out for this aftermarket Stingray green strap instead. And I think this works beautifully well to encapsulate that feeling of summer, which I ever so much need right now, being a cold, bitter winter here in the UK. Let me know what you think about this watch down below. And just try and think while you're watching this video, which, is these, which of these is your favorite watch so far? Because I'll be interested to know down below. Let's go on to the next watch. This watch is a watch that everyone needs in their collection. It's your basic G-Shock. Now, I don't care if you're a millionaire or you've only got 100 quid to your name. You need a G-Shock. These things are invincible. I wear this thing probably the most out of any watch because I wear this to the gym and it just takes a beating. I've dropped this on tarmac. I've almost like thrown this thing by mistake and it just keeps on beating. It is an amazing watch. Now, it's not exactly pretty to look at, but it does the job well, and I've got this all in black, so it's a bit more stealthy. I really do like this watch. Up next, we have another new watch of the collection. This is my Mido Ocean Star 200 in blue. Look at this thing catch the light. 
Wow, what a beauty of a watch. I've worn this a lot over summer and um, I'm hoping to wear it a lot in the new year. Such a beautiful watch on this canvas strap supplied by Mido. I think this watch is absolutely fantastic. I mean, wow, what a beautiful watch. And I think this canvas just really fits the feel of this watch, that sort of saily feel. What a beautiful watch. So up next is a watch that I've owned since 2018, but I haven't shown on the channel before. And this is my Rotary. It's a skeletonized watch. It's really simple, but really beautiful. Nothing too fancy at all. And unfortunately, it hasn't had much wrist time at all. This is probably my least worn watch. Now, the reason being is because it hasn't got a screw down crown. So I'm a little anxious uh, wearing this out. I don't want to break it. So I've kept it in pristine condition. And uh, I think that reflects quite well with those polished center links still looking immaculate. Yeah, beautiful watch regardless though. I really enjoy this one whenever I wear it. So this is my last new watch of the video. It's my Kronos black on black dive watch. I've absolutely loved owning this watch over the last six months and I've probably worn this more than any other watch. It is an absolutely fantastic watch, super easy to throw on and just enjoy. It goes with basically every outfit, so I wear it all the time. And because it's only £140, I'm not too worried if it gets scratched up. What a fantastic watch. I've really enjoyed this one. So I've got two more watches left, so I'm going to try and finish this up and enjoy the last two watches. So up next is my San Martin Retro Dive Watch on this classic Bond NATO strap. Now this was a double pass NATO strap, but I've cut off that extra pass and seared the end so it doesn't fray. And I think it just wears closer to wrist now. And I just really enjoy it. I mean, this watch is one that I get quite a lot of use out of because I wear this when I'm watching old Bond films. Like, maybe if I want to watch uh, Goldfinger or Thunderball, I just feel like this is a way to reconnect to those films without paying an extortionate amount for the Rolex Big Crown. I mean, I haven't got £100,000 spare and I don't want to wear that watch anyway because it'd probably break on me. So this watch is a fantastic way to enjoy that retro feel with modern technology. So the last watch of the video is my modified Casio Royale with that personalised wave pattern just here at the bottom. I do enjoy this watch even though I don't wear it an awful amount because I don't really have any reason to wear it. It's just a watch I wear around the house if I'm just relaxing during a Sunday afternoon. Nothing special and I don't really ever take it out the house. Now the pushes do provide you with a lot of function out of this watch but they are quite stiff some of them so it's not amazingly performing but a good watch for the price and one that I'm going to keep in the collection for many years to come. Now that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please show your support by liking this video and commenting down below. Let me know which watch you like the most and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.